Hey y'all, I'm Mimi, aka the Piscean Seer, and this is one of your daily collective messages, okay? Like and subscribe if you get anything out of this. Thank you to those of you who do like, subscribe, and comment, okay? It is greatly loved and appreciated. It really, truly is. Please, please, please keep it coming. Why do I put that lighter off? God, Archangels, Ancestors, Ascended Masters, all beings of light with the best interests of me and the collective at heart. You are always and forever welcome into my readings. Please give the Piscean Seer Collective the best and most accurate information for them at this time. Okay, so this reading is going to be from the Nine Muses in Greek mythology. Okay. So I'm going to tell you about them right now in a second. Hold on, let me, let me do this. Okay, so um, there's Calliope who inspires epic poetry. There's Cleo who inspires history. There's Arado who inspires lyric poetry and love poetry, okay? There's uh, Euterp who inspires music, music my bad there's polyhymena who inspires sacred poetry poetry i don't know why i'm getting all tongue-tied okay there's uh melepamine oh melpamine who inspires tragedy okay there's uh terpishore no tersa chore i think is how you say it um and she inspires dance okay there's thalia she inspires comedy and there's uh urania who inspires astronomy okay and obviously you know which one of the muses work with you you know multiple of the mu multiple muses could be working with you at the same time okay depending on what you're into okay you could really love poetry you could really love history you could really love music okay um and when that that inspiration strikes you okay it's something that that, um you can't fight okay the Lumerian sea codes okay that came out for Dionysus too okay thank you we got the Akashic Stargate okay aligned with purpose crossroads no wrong path okay so it's like you are aligned with your purpose okay this is why the muses are in your energy okay they come to inspire people who are who are already who you have to be a vibrational match to receive a muse okay you have to be like i'm hearing they're assigned to you okay they're assigned to um assist you in your ascent um and in your energetic shifts okay the the muses bring you new information okay because we got anunnaki light codes okay it says energetic shift new information and ends of cycle okay so you've ended some sort of cycle and now you're entering this new period in time where you're going to be very inspired okay because you have muses in your energy okay pushing you forward and giving you the energy that you need to um you know accomplish whatever goals you have set for yourself okay um akashic stargate Okay, so first of all, a stargate is sort of like a portal, okay? And then if you look at these, they look like different places, you know, kind of in the galaxy. I don't know. I feel like, you know, all of these all of these portals are open to you. Like it really doesn't matter which one, which one, which way that you walk through. Okay. Um, you're going to be inspired to do certain things because just like you have a job, the muses have jobs to inspire you to do the things you're supposed to be doing. Okay. The song saying bossed up, <laughs> bossed up. Okay. So it says, whenever the Akashic Stargate is presented to you, it's because you're at a crucial point. A critical point on your journey you have the opportunity to move in a particular direction and you have to make a decision this can feel overwhelming and you may be waiting for someone or something to make the decision for you but you aren't here to walk a path that was set for you you're here to walk a path that you have chosen the next phase of your journey cannot unfold until you decide which way to go know that whatever direction you take and whatever decision you make You'll always <laughs> be on the right path. No matter how you get there, you'll always end up in a similar space. Um, also know that purpose isn't about doing your duty. It's about living your life and experiencing joy. You know, um, the muses 
I mean, just think about, you know, the most artistic people, you know, um, they enjoy their lives. OK, <laughs> usually either that or, you know, their level of genius is looks too much like insanity for them to be, you know, around people too much. You know, some people who are super inspired, you know, they're saying in some special cases, all of the muses inspire one person, okay? And then that, because that person is meant to do something very great, okay? So, you know, like, they'll have, you know, uh, melpamine come in, you know, and inspire that tragedy, okay? Melpamine is the one who inspires the tragedies to, um, you know, kick off your, your ascensions, okay? And then... Thalia is the one who comes in, you know, after situations are over and inspires, you know, you to laugh, inspires the comedy of of whatever you've been through. You know, um, Urania is the one who's always like, you know, what is your sign? What's your sun sign? What's your moon sign? She inspires you toward astronomy so that you can know who you are. OK, you know, you you terp, you know, he sends music messages and inspires people to create amazing music. You know, it's like they come in and they do different things for different people. OK, we got control at all costs. OK, with Dr. Doom, which is interesting. You could have people who wish to control you. OK, 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 um, which brings me back to a thought that I was having right before I pushed record when I was like shuffling the decks and stuff. Um, they were saying they were bringing to my attention Charmed. OK, in Charmed, um, there was this demon going around trapping the muses. OK, stealing the information. Inf the inspiration of others okay I, I said information though okay stealing the information and inspiration that um was meant to belong to another okay um like they would find someone you know who's very popular you know who looks like a shining light you know and then go and find where where they would live where they lived or whatever you know where they worked where they created and then the demon would walk in there and the people would be like what what are you doing you know and then they would he would point the, his ring at him, you know, and the muse would appear right here, you know, because she was there, you know, inspiring him the entire time. OK, so um, you do have people who wish to take your muses. OK, they are aware of the fact that muses exist. OK, they can tell when you have a muse, you know, because you're very inspired. You you keep going. You don't stop, you know, and um there's some sort of way where people can steal that energy, you know, like they can siphon that energy off of you, you know, and they were saying like, have you ever been really inspired to do something, you know, and then someone comes around in a certain energy and it's like, you know what, I don't even want to do that shit no more, you know, and I was just like giggling like, yeah, okay, like I get it. It's very interesting. Okay. Um, some energy vampires are just after your inspiration. Okay. Your ideas, your information that you receive. Okay. We got Emma Frost at the bottom of the deck. It says, if you think I'm cold now, just wait, okay? And under that, we got Kitty Pride because we all begin somewhere, okay? Spirit saying, think first, smash later. Don't worry, it's being handled, okay? You're being protected. Just focus on wearing your crown with honor at this time, okay? Don't let... Don't think anyone can come along and steal your inspirational energies at this time, okay? They have been locked out. There's no more doing that, okay? But they could have been doing that for a while, you know, in an attempt to control you at all costs, okay? You will... I'm, not, I'm a hoe. Got bitches galore, okay? It could be somebody like that. Somebody a hoe. How many Instagram models, okay? So it could be somebody who's an Instagram model, okay? Um. Anyways... It says, like Dr. Doom, you might think that the tighter you grip, the less you will lose, but nothing could be further from the truth. Doom commands the reading when your vanity trumps over your intelligence, creating rifts where there should be harmony. You may be in a situation where you need to apologize, atone for mistakes, and make peace with the competition, or you may want to consider a more flexible approach, okay? So maybe loosen the reins a little bit, okay? Allow the the inspiration to come in and take over, you know? Don't be so in an energy where you have to control at all costs, you know? Because then it puts limits on the ways that the muses can inspire you, okay? You might be a life path number nine or three or seven. Or you might be seeing 10, 10, 10 around a lot, okay? We got the 
master of keys okay Ooh, fire okay this card i'm looking at right here okay i think i'm gonna take it too <laughs> okay um we got the master artisan okay with the eight of keys you know um and this guy here is like dropping these pearls you know dropping these gems into this man's hand who's sitting at this desk you know doing his his craft okay so that's the way that the, the muses are working with you. And like this, you know, look at this crazy. Didn't I just say in the muse be right there by the shoulder, you know, um, you have different energies that are inspiring you at this time. OK, and also we got St. Germain at the bottom of the deck. OK, so um, make sure that you are someone who works with the violet flame. OK, call in St. Germain and work with the violet flame in your energy. OK, so you can keep it very clear and make a lot of room for the inspiration that you are attracting to yourself. OK, somebody's name could be Sharon or Sandra or Taylor or Anne. OK. Um, so that was the gateway or Kyle. Okay. Or somebody's last name could be gray. Okay. Look, um, the first deck I used was the gateway of light activation Oracle deck. I used the magic of Marvel Oracle deck. And this one is the Akashic tarot. Okay. So let me find both the pages before I read them. Let me see. All right. So this card is the number the number 22, okay? I just seen 1122, okay? When I said that, okay, look. Um you could be a life path number 22 or 11, okay? Or you could be seeing tw twos and eights everywhere. You could be seeing 822, you could be seeing 228. Um you could be seeing 8822 or you know the other way around. Um you could be a life path number 8. Did I say that already? I think I feel like I did. OK. Or your birthday could be in, you know, the second or eighth month of the year. Your birthday could be on the 22nd or on the eighth of any month. OK. Um, you can look up the angel number 102. Uh, what else? The eight of keys. Two oh five, okay. You can look up the angel number two oh five too. Okay, so um, I'm gonna read Adsum first because it's a major arcana. Okay, it says a candle casts light on an open book held by a young woman sitting at a desk. Her eyes are drawn to the side as if she were distracted from the reading by a curious thought or someone nearby. She is surrounded by several people, many of whom are somewhat translucent and glowing. An angel bends and whispers at some, I arrive, I am here, I attend you, okay? At some, is a single word that has many meanings. First, it affirms your own strength and focus in the present. You can use it as a command word whenever you find yourself distracted from what's at hand. Say, add some, I am here and feel yourself attend to the situation or person before you. This word also declares your arrival at your goals and all your wishes coming true. Say, add some, I arrive and take a moment to see yourself reaching your goals. Absolutely. Whenever you get this card, know that you are on your way to the results you seek with the help of others and the glorious help of spirit. Okay, this card also reminds you to be assured that no matter what's happening in your life, spirit is always there for you. They reach out to you, sharing their light and power and serving you in every way from the least to the highest, from grandma to the divine and eternal community attends you say add some and take some time to attend them to attend to them okay you can act on your promise to god as spirit lifts you upon their shoulders you are present for each other and together you arrive at your dreams okay um, now we got the master artisan okay it says inside a bright and bustling artisan's workshop um, apprentices are busy at their workbenches 
which are arrayed with the beautiful fruits of their labor. The master artisan pours a number of beautiful shining gems into the open hands of one of his apprentices, okay? This card indicates that you now have the opportunity to offer your talents, your purpose, and your gifts to the world, making a contribution to many. Don't be shy and don't hold back. You have don't hold back what you have to share, okay? It's not the time to hide your light under a basket. As a matter of fact, you may now find yourself teaching or training your skill set to others. You may also be demonstrating your gifts and performing your talents publicly. Even if your gifts lie in the ability for loving, compassionate care, you will be sharing those gifts with others. In this period of time, you can build your reputation and take advantage of the opportunities that come your way. So take action, put yourself out there and let yourself shine. There is much beauty and empowerment for you to bring to the world, okay? So you're being inspired to bring all of that amazingness of you out okay these are the astro cards let me move this book because i'm done with it oh man the ace of swords fell okay <laughs> so that you know gives me inspiration of ideas okay i feel like they're inspiring these great ideas within you okay at this time like i said already all right we got wild femininity okay Something about your divine feminine energy, okay? Um, we got the old clearing of old karma, okay? I feel like they've really inspired a lot of change in your life, okay? A lot of inspired you to walk away from a lot of things there inspiring you to be more extroverted okay you could also be a leo you know you could be born very extroverted because you were you are very inspired by the muses, okay. We got Mars with drive and power, okay? <laughs> so you could be feeling like you could be in this energy, you know, feeling very driven, you know, really feeling your power, okay? Because your muses are wanting you to see yourself as someone who is amazing, okay? Look at this, trying, support and inspiration, okay? This is what they really are sending into your energy at this time, It says Jupiter, ideas and magnitude, okay? They're um, increasing the magnitude of the ideas and inspirations that they're giving to you at this time, too. You can find yourself, you know, dreaming really big at this time, like really making big plans that you're definitely going to accomplish, okay? Because <laughs> you're being, like, genuinely inspired, okay? Like, um, on some renaissance type of time, okay? We got moon, okay? Feelings and subconscious. Pay attention to the way that you're feeling, okay? Okay, pay attention to those little ideas and nudges that are popping up, you know, in your subconscious mind. Okay, we got the Pisces. Okay, you could be a Pisces or have Pisces highly expected in your chart. Okay, um, and it says the dreamer, you know, you could be very dreamy, you know, in a daydreamy type of um type of energy okay and we got limits and lessons at the bottom of the deck okay and it's saturn okay um we got the north node of the moon and new life goal at the bottom of the deck you know i feel like you're not letting um the lessons that you learned in the past limit you from this new inspirational energy that you're in okay and that's why um things are really working good for you in your favor okay we got the ten of pentacles right here at the bottom of this deck okay I believe in me. I know I can be whatever it is God got for me. Ain't no stopping me because, you know, I got it. I got it. Yeah, little buddy, I got it, okay? So you could be just, you could be in that energy, you know, like I got this, okay? It's handled. <laughs> we got the, um... Seven of Sice, okay, or the Seven of Swords, okay? We got the Eight of Swords right here. He said, all oh, my enemies, okay? <laughs> so your enemies are trapping themselves, okay? Um, being very sneaky in your energy at this time, okay? Like I said, wanting to control you at all costs, okay? We got the Page of Stakes, okay? Or the Page of Wands. I feel like you're someone who is really um, a unicorn at this time, okay? This note on the floor says, this note right here on the floor, it says, Slayer, come out and die, okay? <laughs> so, um, I'm just hearing, like, don't let anyone make you feel like, you know, they're going to kill you behind your ideas or whatever, you know? 
I don't know. I'm, I'm really hearing like some people are inspired to the point where it's like, I don't care. Like I'm willing to die about minds. Okay. That that's how you know the muses is in your energy for sure. Okay. You could be, um, having some sort of fire sign. Okay. Some King of wands wanting to shut you down. Okay. He got this eye patch, which is giving me real bad guy type of energy. You know, someone who decided to skip school, you know, <laughs> this is funny because I just it explained this card a totally different way in another reading, you know, but that's the energy that I'm getting from it. You know, somebody that skips school, you know, they're not really concerned with going to go learn, you know, they really want to be on the hunt for you, you know, and he's even looking at her, okay, the way it was. It was like this, laying on the table. He's looking at the slayer, okay, that's you. <laughs> Out here slaying these demons left and right, okay, and it's really um, bringing attention to you at this time, okay. We got the sun, okay, because this the, the sun is shining brightly within you, you know. I feel like this big old thing, you know, is your solar plexus, okay, and also I feel like the muses use your solar plexus energy like if your solar plexus is not healed you know then they can't even bring in the inspiration that they need to bring in you know that's why spirit stresses you know learning to meditate and doing all of this healing you know so you can be allowed to work with the different deities okay and look at this excuse me look at this ace of scythes okay or the ace of swords like i was saying okay that you're really being one two three four five six seven okay seven could be significant to you you could be a life path number seven you could have gone through some sort of tower recently okay we got the hierophant okay which gives me i heard mason okay give me mason energy but it doesn't have to be i mean there's that okay but then on the other hand okay it's like the muses could be inspiring you to get to be learning all of these different my mystical things. You know, Nigel, the man in the car, the character in the show, Buffy and the Vampire Slayer, you know, he was the librarian. OK, he knew all he what he held all of this different mystical information you know and he really kept Buffy up on you know what what monsters are what you know and Buffy was very um, knowledgeable herself you know. But she worked more from her experience and he worked more from the things that he learned from the books, you know, maybe spirit could be um, maybe the muses could be sending in someone who they inspire to learn to come in and help you with what they're inspiring you to do. OK, maybe they're asking you to step out of this hermit mode a little bit, you know, and step more into your power, step more into your balance, step more into your stability, you know, so that you can get this um, nine of chalices, you know, or this nine of cups, this wish fulfillment, you know, and get into this calm water. But I feel like you're I don't feel like your water is very rough right now. I mean, it could be because of this tower that's out here. You know, but sometimes towers are small, you know, sometimes they're just emotional, you know, sometimes you're just purging things out, you know, but that tower is like, oh, shit, bro, we just hit. Oh, shit, bro, we just hit. OK, you just hit like with that tower that you just went and it looked like a few bands. What the fuck? I ain't never had cash. Now I'm up. OK, did I say this is the Buffy and the Vampire Slayer deck. This is the um, Celtic Healing Oracle deck. OK. What else lovely and wonderful muses? What other inspirational messages would you like to give the collective? Okay. We got the puka with the trickster, okay? Ay, ay, ay. This is what they really want to warn you about, okay? People trying to come in and absorb your inspirational energies, okay? So be very careful. But that hermit card, going back to that hermit card that I just seen, you know, somebody could be a Virgo, okay? That's what I do think of when I when I think of the hermit. And then the sun's got that fire energy. Also, somebody could be an Aries. I mean, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But somebody could be an Aries, too, okay? Because it came all the way out my mouth, okay? Um, you could be a life path number seven. I said that already, right? No, I didn't. You'd be a life path number seven. You could be a life path number nine, okay? So, we got the divining rod, okay? Or hazel. You can have hazel eyes, okay? We got 39, the under tree taking root in the other world, okay? And then we got uh, nymphs with healing, okay? And nymphs are kind of like muses in a way, okay? Like in the way that they exist, okay? They're saying same power source, but I mean, we all have the same power source, which is the most high God, you know? That magical power source that we have. But I feel like 
some trickster is trying to come in, you know, and stop you from being in this divine, from being rooted in the other world. You know, it's like they want to um, uproot what work you have already done, you know, what you have already laid, okay? Maybe you need some sort of talisman, okay, um, that will help to protect you, okay? Wearing a sun talisman is always, you know, a very protective thing. What else? I'm hearing a cross. I'm hearing the eye of Horus, okay? The eye of Horus is a protective talisman. It will protect you from anything, okay? You also could have Horus in your energy at this time. We got the spirit of the mountains. It says, breasts of the goddess. So let's read it, because I don't know what it... I read it before, but I, don't, I can't tell you what it's saying. <laughs> All right, so it says you are invited to let go of harshly judging yourself or others. While corrective actions are essential in the course of human life, blaming self or others is neither practical nor life sustaining. However, awkward or difficult seeking and extending forgiveness frees life to be more fully in the present. The image of the breast of the goddess Anu signify the nourishment of a mother's milk and boundless self-giving. As though untouched by human logic, she gives impartially and boundlessly to the just and unjust alike. Therefore, you are encouraged to partake of her wisdom in some aspects of your life. Rather than judging or holding court on the actions of others or yourself, you may wish to evaluate and amend those aspects of your life in which... A gentler and more forgiving approach would be freeing and more deeply gratifying, okay? So you could be... Okay, okay. So which makes me look at this kind of different, you know? You could be feeling like... I don't know. I feel like that is happening, okay? But also I feel like for some of you, it, you could be just thinking that that sort of thing is happening, you know? Some trickster could be sending you the energy like, you know, you're being tricked or bamboozled in some sort of way, you know, when really they don't have the power to touch you at all. You know, you're like some sort of, it says blessed owls to the west, immortality and sun god, god of the sky, okay? I told you, you need a sun, <laughs> you need a sun necklace, okay? It says presence of the ancestors, okay? The ancient ones, they're all around you, protecting you and guiding you in, through these inspirational times, okay? But just um, be careful, you know, the other day I was praying, you know, <clears throat> For God to deal with my enemies, you know, and those who wish to come up against me. But also in my prayer, you know, I added, you know, that I take full accountability for the roles that I may have played in the situations that I have come up against, you know, with other people, you know. And Spirit was just telling me, like, that was a very powerful thing for you to add, okay? So um, maybe add that into things while you're thinking about other people. Look at this trickery again, okay? There is some trickery going on here. And maybe um, these people are blaming you in some sort of way. They're blaming you for the things that they lack, okay? That's what the breasts of the goddess were saying, you know? You give freely to the just and the unjust, you know? And blaming others is not really your thing you know and people are tricking you you know what i'm saying well they're trying to trick you into really feeling like they're trying to trauma bond to you in some sort of way okay i don't know you can have a lot of people grieving you at this time or you could have already gone through this period of grief you know where you're just you're over it okay people left and that's why you're in this lucky energy okay you need to get rid of people in order to have this growth you know and so they're still trying to figure out how they can get in and trick you you know how can we cut off this how can we cut off all of this inspiration? Like, where is this shit even coming from is what I'm hearing, okay? <laughs> you could be a life path number five, okay? Or 22 or six, okay? Yeah, look, people in the community wanting to shut off your inspiration, figure out how they can stop you, you know? In fact, they keep doing these things, you know? They waiting so hard. They, they waiting forever, okay? For you to lose your insight and your direction, okay? Trying to cause mischief in your energy, trying to distract you, okay? But they're just scavengers, okay? They really do want to upheave, cause upheaval for you, you know, so that they can scavenge whatever energy that you had on you that was pushing out that light, you know? So... 
don't stop okay don't stop your communication with spirit and don't let anyone convince you that you are not free to um you know move about the country and do whatever the fuck you want to do because you're so free and inspired baby <laughs> you are so free and full of inspiration okay let's see I feel like people feel inadequate next to you, though, because you are so inspired, you know, so full of information and such a shining light, you know, always helpful, always having a positive word to offer to people, you know, that pisses folks off. They don't like that shit. OK, they're like, why you ain't sad with us? We're we're in grief. Why aren't you mad? <laughs> it says, what do you see in me? You know, like people just these are the, those type of people you know they're going around asking people like what do you see in me you know what do you like about me that type of person what is it that you that you like about me you know like because they don't even know what they like about themselves you know so they want they're looking for someone on the outside to validate them okay spirit saying you deserve better okay the muses say you deserve better people in your energy you know than people who are feeling lonely all the time and wanting you to feel more lonely too you know i'd rather feel lonely than than be surrounded by a bunch of people who are sad and blocking my luck and growth that i am making with god okay so you could be in that same energy it says i can't come to you now people are blocked from entering your energy okay it says i wish i could be a different person you know they just wish they were more blessed okay more connected in like you were like you are okay it says will this pain ever stop you know yeah escaping with drugs and alcohol and just doing all kinds of shit you know and then it's like when they do come in your energy you know they really aren't willing to promise you anything okay it says i am better with my mind than with my heart okay which is giving me like you know mani mani manipulative type of energies you know trying to come around and have sex with you you know like i was hurt by because they were hurt by you you know so they want to come in and have sex with you you know and you know bait you you know seduce you and then have you feeling bad you know and when you are in those bad negative you know lower vibrational energies then you're not that inspired okay so that's just another trick to get at your inspiration okay that the muses are pouring into you okay i stubbed my pinky toe <laughs> i stubbed my pinky toe on the bed okay i like to died i had to sit down um okay so the crow cards are the urban crow oracle okay and this one is the lovers oracle deck right here and this is the affirmators oracle deck let me get three lovely beautiful muses that's one whoop, whoop, whoop. that's two that's three okay so this one says patience okay at the bottom of the deck we got sanctuary um, it says, congratulations, you have been granted more patience. You may start using it right away or much, much later. Wait, waiting a long time is sort of an option now afforded to you by greater patience. Can you believe it? Look at this. You're still reading and you still haven't started getting annoyed yet. Imagine how this patience will transform in your life. Imagine how easy it will be to go to the post office okay so spirit saying you know be very patient at this time you know wherever you are if you're at the store if you're in traffic you know work on being in that more patient energy you know the calmer and peace more peaceful you are the more inspired you are is what they're saying okay it says connection okay also the more connected to god to the most high you are the more inspired you are by the muses okay and and the less people are able to well, I mean, not the less, I feel like the more connection that you have with spirit and the more inspired you are, the less likely people are to come in and control you. You know, it says I'm connected. <clears throat> it says I'm connected to the multitudes and I can access their support at any time. Even a stranger offers a sense of common. My bad. Even strangers offer a sense of comfort when they smile at me or make a dumb comment about the weather everyone is waiting to connect all i need to do is open myself up and pay attention note to self work on witty banter about weather related stuff okay so next we got beauty did i show you this that's how it looks 
Um, it says, I'm beautiful even when I don't think it. I'm beautiful even when I don't see it. I'm beautiful no matter how many people don't say it. I'm beautiful and I don't even care if you know it. I'm beautiful, which is why I don't have to try so hard all the time to show it. Okay, so Spirit's saying, you know, you don't have to work so hard. You don't have to try so hard to show people your beauty or convince people what is special about you because you have the nine muses in your energy inspiring um you to do this greater journey when you step into the room people are inspired by you people are in awe of you people notice you so you don't have to prove or show nothing to nobody okay it's just that those people of the past they were trash okay they was trash they was garbage and they didn't have your best interest at heart okay and so they always try to make you feel like you had to prove something to them like you had to show them something you know and spirit just wanted you to realize that they were just trying to take your inspirational energies, okay? <clears throat> Look, sudden wealth, okay? Whatever the muses are inspiring to you to do, and sudden wealth is um, the card 11, okay? Which gives me intuition, you know? Like, <clears throat> this is what broke you out of that sort of loop you know realizing that you were rich you know that you were the money okay and so now that you know you're the money and that you're rich and and you know your value and you know your worth this is what's going to cause this sudden wealth you know it's got you in this amazing great lucky energy you know everything that the muses inspire have the um ability to create something lucrative for you you know we are made to to choose our jobs according to what we are inspired by, you know. Inspiration is a gift, okay. It's a gift, <laughs> period. It's one of your gifts, okay. You are in extremely inspired, okay. So don't sleep on yourself, okay. Follow your dreams, your aspirations, all right. We got the house, okay. And an official person. And a privileged lady. And a family room, okay. I don't know. I really heard your family could be hiding some sort of house from you, okay? You could have some official person who's going to come to your house and tell you about that, okay? They could be concerned, okay? Because we got concern under that, okay? It was like this, okay? The official person, the privileged lady, okay? The family room and concern, okay? I feel like somebody in your family could be very concerned, you know, about all of this wisdom, all of this growth that you're making, you know, all of this un unexpected income that you are attracting, you know? Um, you're really having an impact in the community. Um, you know, even if you're just meditating every day, you know, it really does have an impact to the community around you. OK, like my community, <laughs> OK, is getting all sorts of upgrades and, you know, developments, you know, um, they're building all sorts of new things. You know, are really seeing all of the like, you know, dried fields and things like that, you know, kind of getting filled in, you know, it's because when your vibration rises, you really do have an effect on that area. OK, like you when you are inspired to grow and to better yourself okay it ripples out of you okay it's a ripple effect the one is connected to the all okay so whatever you do it really truly does have an effect on the world the community the people around you okay and you're being offered a lot of gifts and um knowledge and things like that because you are you know in a very mature and divine and powerful energy at this time and now we know why okay um that was the one I was just using that was the Kipper deck okay and the one before that was the Affirmators I think I said it but I don't remember this is the Chibi Tarot deck okay which I just split the deck and the Ten of Pentacles in the world was trying to jump up out of that thing okay <clears throat> look we got the lovers right here on this one okay and the Hanged Man okay you're in a very enlightened energy okay I just keep hearing <laughs> like I keep hearing inspiration, okay? I keep he literally hearing the word. Oh, oh, oh. Woo, we got the star, okay? And the six of pentacles. Because, like I said, you're receiving this, like, ultimate gift, you know, of inspiration, okay? And also, you could be being gifted a house, okay? Um, because the star kind of goes with this sudden wealth for me, you know? Um, like I was saying, you know, knowing your value, knowing your worth, and also attracting physical 
money and worth to yourself okay <laughs> and attracting you know this house you know you could be praying to God about some sort of home or something you know some sort of different place or something like that okay you're gonna get blessed in a big way so that you can go and move the way that you want to okay you will get blessed for staying in this amazing balanced energy you know spirit saying it's time for you to come in out of the cold you know and I love this this specific five of pentacles you know because usually it's like people you know and they're looking all sad you know and like you know there's they're freezing and they're trying to hurry up and get to where they're going but this dude looks like you know a warrior he like what it's snowing that's nothing you know it's like when people who live in other states come to california you know and we're all like it's cold you know and they're like what <laughs> it feels great out here <laughs> because they're used to being in the snow you know um i feel like um there is no like like there's no keeping you out in the cold. It's like even when you are in the cold, you know, you really are a warrior out there. You know, you know how to stay warm. You know how to start fires and shit. You were a survivor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me see this. Oh, come on. Come on, beautiful Ace of Swords. Y'all want me to read this? Okay, I'm going to keep the Ace of Swords. We got the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. Okay, I just split it. <laughs> Where was it? I split it to the High Priestess. It's right here. Okay, let me get one more. We got the Ace of Pentacles, okay? So we got the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords for the final thoughts um, in this beautiful Muse reading. And we got the seven, no, the six of wands at the bottom of the deck, okay? Which is even better than the seven of wands, okay? Because <laughs> that's winning energy, you know? You really are winning, baby, okay? You are being truly inspired. So follow, you know, whatever um, little hints of, hits of inspiration that you're receiving right now at this time, okay? Okay? Which one's first? The ace of pentacles is first, okay? In the book. Okay, so the Ace of Pentacles says the Ace of Pentacles points towards the promise of financial abundance. Perhaps Bruce Wayne has decided to invest in your new business or maybe Lex Luthor is funding your brilliant idea. Either way, strike while the iron is hot and be ready for a windfall. That's what I was saying, okay? What, when you feel inspired to do something by the muses, okay, go and do that thing you feel inspired to do, okay? There is a reason, and it's going to pay off big, big, big time, okay? Big, big time, big, big, hey. <laughs> what that song say? <laughs> I look better than what I've been through, hey, okay? Um, the Ace of Swords says, when a hero is handed their first weapon, they are filled with the desire to train with it, master it, and use it to fight the forces of evil, all before they have been un have all before they've even unsheathed the blade. The Ace of Swords carries the same excitement, a new mission, a burst of inspiration, and a blast of creativity. Use this energy prudently and you will find success. But remember that swords can sever as well as save. It's up to you to wield your burgeoning powers wisely, okay? And with that, I'm done. I hope you guys have a happy, fabulous, wonderful, and amazing day. That you got something that you needed out of this, okay? And I will see you on Monday. Peace out.